yet another week in the tank for VFG. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. It is Friday, our big show, our show of shows, where we have Kratos defending his VFG heavyweight title, along with other various matches here happening today on the program. Welcome! We all survived yet another week. So I ask you, who wants some more money? We all want more money, but right now, Joker is the one who needs to be talked to with a consultation. And Mr. Joker, wherever you're at here, Akira, who is two belts, will pay you some more here, 1338. Man, almost leaked. It was almost 1337, but not quite. And I'm sure somebody else, because there's always two, like, these guys want that money in pairs. So, let me check. Somebody else, Bowser, big old Bowser, wants some more money. So, let's give him his due there. King Koopa wants to continue ruling his kingdom with a higher paycheck. So, Bowser, 1132. And there we go. There you go, Bowser. Enjoy. So... It is time to once again offer a contract to Shingo. I want to have Shingo going after my junior title. So Shingo, I'll pay you a bunch of money. Sign with VFG. Doesn't want to sign. Again, I wasted that pick one more time. Come on, man. Join us. Seriously, we need more juniors and you're a great junior. Although obviously in real life now have gone into be a heavyweight. Besides the point. Let's check on our management now. As far as our merchandise, we still have a bunch of this merch because we had a 10,000 seat show yesterday. So we're only going to make a little bit of goods and a little bit of snacks. We go up to our, you know, usual 40,000 seat uh, ridiculousness because I can't make any more of these at the moment. And so, you know what? For this show, we're going to have some DVDs and Blu-rays. There. I've done that. Training center. Clinic needs an upgrade. As a reminder, we didn't make any money yesterday on the show. We kind of more or less broke even. So I'm not looking to spend huge today. I'm really not. So let's hit up our end of the week shenanigans. Let me check on how AEW is now friendly with us. As a reminder, Ibushi is working our show today. And I'm very excited for that. So, cross-promotion, perhaps in the cards at some point with AEW, and that is exciting. Finally, it took like 30 episodes. We're getting there. But, we're going to have this big show. I'm going to invite some guys, so... Actually, can I invite some other guys from All Elite? Ibushi is going to be here. What about Randall Keith Orton? Randy wants $12,000. I might just give him that twelve grand. And it's a deal! We got Randy Orton for $12,000 on this show. So two of the AEW talents are working this show. Hype! Now let's get cheap for the rest of it. So let's see. Geralt, I'm going to keep on doing it. Don't matter. But I'm going to keep on doing it because I think it's funny. And it's my show. So I can do that as I so desire. So we got Randy. We got Ibushi. That's two. Cloud Strife. Come on down. Not happening. Not this event. I wonder if the whole not this event means Cloud Strife likes to work a death match. We're not doing enough of those here on VFG. I don't know, right? But Jungle Boy, $800. It is not interested. We can get Jake Hager for two grand. Big Hurt coming on in. MJF says nope. Like he always does. I think we got him once or twice and it just didn't work out. Cheeseburger. Well, I kind of want to hire as a junior. So that might, might be a thing for next time. If I write it down and actually remember to do it. Get ourselves a cheeseburger on this roster. At least, if I can't get Shingo, maybe a cheeseburger. So that's four. Randy, Ibushi, Hager, and Cheeseburger. I think four is good. We've got talent here. I'll get one more. You know what? We'll do five. So that being said, with our five... Who else is a free agent we can get? Pentagon Jr. Yeah, alright. Sure. Got a deal. Alright, we got five here. 
Let's book this event. Standard event. Regular match. We're not going to go into gruesome fighting. Good God. So, we'll get to these options here later. But, obviously, after the events of yesterday, the main event on this show is our reigning, defending VFG champion, the picture of health, Kratos Two Belts. We'll give him a different outfit there in the gold. And make sure we configure our title match for the main event for that VFG Heavyweight Championship. Yes, we did. Yes, we do. And that will be the challenger is going to be Bray Wyatt. And we got that fiend, that fiend, and then muscle man, and then... So we're going to go with that one with the jacket. There we go. Something different for the show today. So, obviously, we have some very important freelancers here on the show. And Randy Orton is one of them. So Randy gets that co-headlining spot. And Randy Orton can go against... Who do we have that can give Randy Orton... A good fight. I mean, yeah, Brock Lesnar, because it's Brock Lesnar, but how about Randy Orton versus Nemesis? That's a better option to me. Again, Freaks and Peaks, top of the card. They are the dominant heel faction here in VFG. Now, the other important freelancer here is one Kota Ibushi. So, Kota, who is a heavyweight here, shockingly enough, we're going to have Kota Ibushi fighting... Banjo, because Coda did matches with DDT. He is used to all kinds of weird stuff, so why not have him fight the bear? Sure, we can do that. Now, we should also have a tag team match playoff. Do we have enough juniors to have those junior tag belts be defended? Luigi and his unlikely tag team partner of Joker. Those are your tag team champions. What the hell are they? There we go. Joker, title match for those junior tag team championships. There we go. And who is the unlikely tag team to go up against those? we got Ali, Liger, and Kofi. We'll do Liger and Kofi, because Ali is kind of iffy on his match quality. And I feel like Liger and Kofi have definitely gotten it done more often than not in terms of having a high quality match. And hey, you never know, they could win those titles. It's always possible with new Day Rocks. There we go. So two championships on the show today. Now then, who else is here as a freelance? I say we get Cheeseburger. And who would be hungry for a cheeseburger? Our other remaining junior, Mustafa Ali. So keep the juniors with the juniors. Hopefully that pans out for this show. Okay, five more matches on the deal. What do we got? Who do we got? Kiryu is on the card. We can have Kiryu fight somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Dante, his long-term rival with these two. They're still going at it uh, forever and always. Mr. Mario go one-on-one -on -one with Bowser. Again, a feud immemorial with the two guys here. I want to have a tag team match earlier in the card, and I want to have the former rivals turned tag team with the Velveteen Dream and Waluigi. It's Team Perp, and they're going to go up against the team of R-Truth and Sub-Zero. They are the Frosty Truth. And again, Brock Lesnar putting him very early on this card because, look, it's Brock Lesnar. He'll do what he wants. We'll have Brock Lesnar fight Jake Hager. It's whatever, man. It is what it is. Uh, sometimes I don't plan these things out as, as well as I could, but here we are, here we go. And first match on the card, we have one more guy we hired here, so we got to use him. And that is Pentagon Jr. Right over there. And Pentagon Jr., to open the card, will go one-on-one... -on -one with... who's left here? Gender? Yeah, we can keep on putting Seamus on this card, because why not? So, Seamus to open the show, and his partners in crime are going to end the show. So now, we can go back to the urban in America, and we can hit the large hall, and fill that large hall. Can we charge more? How do I get to the arena? Why is it not 
60 bucks? Alright, that'll bring me down to that, but still, let's try to actually sell out this hall. And perhaps having that sell out will give me access to the arena, fingers crossed. Either way, there is some money exchanging hands here, to be sure. We got 10 matches on the card, multiple tag team matches, everything coming up grave. Make sure here we got our, yep, titles and title, and that should be good. Let's confirm it, let's proceed, and let's hope we make a bunch of money on the show today. September! Let's get this show underway. Got my notepad, got my pen, got my wins, got my losses. Sheamus vs. Pentagon Jr. What can you deliver? 76% bro kick. Freaks and Peaks stays winning. And Sheamus is now 10. And 10. 10, 10, 10. All right, cool. Moving on, Jake Hager, Brock Lesnar, a knockdown drag out to be sure. 93% with the large rolling DDT. And Brock Lesnar is now two and two. Getting his mojo back is that beast boy. Okay, R-Truth and Sub-Zero versus Team Perp. Who we gon' got? Who gon' get got? What is the deal? The game is loading. Team Perp with the victory. Purple Rainmaker on our truth They get that win and a not a bad match. So that puts Velveteen Dream at 5 and 2. And that puts our truth at 4 and 8. Moving on, we have Bowser and Mario. The match for the ages that will never get old because it's been happening for a number of years. And a terrible match. And Bowser gets the win in a stinker, bringing the whole card down, Bowser. How could you? I trusted you, man. I trusted you. So Bowser is now 14 and 12, and Mario is 9 and 13. So Mario, not the best win loss record there on VFG. But we move on to Dante and Kiryu, another eternal rivalry. And wouldn't you know it, Dante beats Kiryu. He just can't get it done. That burning hammer just has not happened for Kiryu. It's a shame. So Dante, perhaps at some point in line for another tail shot here, is going to be 14 and 4, whereas Kiryu is 20 and 10. Again, he hit 20, man. Got a lot of wins. Mustafa Ali versus Cheeseburger. Please, get this show back up over 80%. What are you guys doing here? It's a huge show. We need to get these fans happy. 90%! Again, Cheeseburger beat Mustafa Ali. I might need to hire Cheeseburger. He is just murdering it on these guest spots. So, that means that Mustafa Ali, who does work here, is now 9 and 5. So, that Japanese leg roll clutch... From Cheeseburger, bring it in clutch. Okay, BFG Junior Tag Team Titles on the line. Are we going to see new champions? Or will the pair who hate each other still defend those titles? They could not coexist! And Kofi Kingston pins Luigi. We have new champions, folks. And that means that Joker and Luigi, they go and go at it again for that VFG Junior title at one point or another and so Kofi Kingston is now four and four and Luigi is nine and seven so new champions crown does that bode well for the main event here with Bray Wyatt and Kratos and now it's time for Kota Ibushi to fight a bear what's gonna happen here with Kota and Banjo. Firebird Splash. Kota beats Banjo. Banjo is 0-2. So look, man. We're just in here to get in good matches. Sorry, Bear. It ain't going down like that. Because Kota Ibushi is still Kota Ibushi. What do you want? He's the golden star. Okay. Nemesis versus Randy Orton. Can Freaks and Peaks make this a triple win for their faction? Or will Nemesis get hit? With the three most dangerous letters in the English language, R, 
RKO. What do we have? Randy Orton hits that RKO and beats Nemesis, who is now 3-3. Three and three. Great match. I thank you, Randy. Perhaps worth the $12,000 you cost me to get you in here. But hey, I'm trying to make that thing work with AEW. Main event time. Bray Wyatt versus Kratos for that VFG Heavyweight Championship. The most prestigious prize in video game entertainment. Let's go. Let's make it happen. It's been a long week. My voice is shot. We are still here to do things. I'm still here to make videos somehow, some way in the middle of moving. It's still happening here on the channel. Good God Almighty. The Fiend won that eight-man tournament. He beat some names to get through that tournament to be the grateful number one contender. And can The Fiend put the mandible claw? That's the question. Because Kratos is here. And Kratos, not wearing the gold, I don't know why, but Kratos is not messing around. He has so far been a very excellent defender of that championship, right? He couldn't get it done on those six-man titles, but but he is here, he is the god of war, and he is ready to take out the Fiend. Which of these two freaks will get it done here on the show? Test of strength! Fiend is choking him out, just not having it. But Kratos to his feet first, a huge lariat into that dragon chokehold on the Fiend. Can he finish it with his own submission maneuver, or will we see Spartan Rage, and will that put away the Fiend? As Kratos rules the roost here in VFG, our fourth ever VFG Heavyweight Champion, and so far I think he has the most successful defenses outside of Agent 47, but that's a whole different story. So, pinfall! And no, only a one count on The Fiend. It's just not happening for Kratos. They're very wary here in the early goings of this match. Raking the face into the center and to the back. And just damaging blows from Kratos to, to The Fiend. A big old shoulder breaker. And then raining those forearms onto the face of The Fiend. Who just kicks him in the nuts. I mean, that's effective. The sent onto the back from The Fiend. Like, I don't care who you are. God of War or otherwise, if somebody hits you in the balls, that's going to be your weakness. It happens to Brock Lesnar all the time. Back and forth exchange, and Kratos is victorious. Both men, though, at the same time, getting up, right? They are evenly matched thus far in this matchup, in this uh, contest. Choking, once again, to Kratos, who I do believe is immortal. Is the Fiend immortal? We don't know yet. So here we go, pinfall off of a reversal is kind of whatever, only a two count for that, but he's making him use his power to get out of that pinfall. A punch to the face, dragon clutch sleeper once again on the neck, and it's not enough to put away the Fiend at the five minute mark of this matchup. Five minutes, five minutes. Okay, still wary, uh, no big moves have been thrown just yet, so a tentative feeling out process between these two. I'm not sure if if Kratos knows what to make of the Fiend at this point. But here we go, a huge running clothesline, and he's right back into that sleeper, man. Right back into that uh, submission maneuver on the Fiend, trying to tap him out, make him snap, crack his neck. A big splash from the Fiend, and Kratos out of the corner fighting, tried for the ground and pound, got reversed. Men are exhausted. The Lariat and right back into it. Right back into it. That is his go-to in the early goings here of this matchup. Fiend with the Mandible Claw! Is it too early? I don't think Kratos gets out of it. We also have not seen a Sister Abigail as of yet. So, oh my god, Rikishi Driver just spiked him. Spiked him, but the Mandible Claw back again times two. Will Kratos tap? Will he tap? Will he snap? Neither. Neither. Oh my god, the backbreaker. Just crushing the spine of the fiend. Devastating maneuver. Just that punch to the face. Ain't nothing more simple than that. Will he hit that Spartan Rage? Or can the fiend avoid 
and or will he tap to this? I mean, it's possible with enough damage he could tap to this Dragon Clutch Slaver. You never know. He could put the Fiend to sleep. But Fiend trying to get clever and just meeting these fists with his face is just not working out for him, folks, today on the show. Fiend is being dominated here, more or less, by the God of War. Both men exhausted at the 10 minute mark. And a punch to the dome. And again, a pinfall. Only a two count. Not even close. But making Kratos. Oh, man of a claw! For the third time! For the third time! Will he tap? Didn't have it in there. He didn't have it cinched in there quite enough. The backbreaker again on the theme. That Argentine backbreaker is devastating. The shoulder breaker. And Kratos is feeling that rage. He is feeling that rage. And just wants to clutch the neck and make the Fiend pass out. And that's been his go-to in this match thus far. The jumping knee from Kratos. Unusual offense. Fiend fights back with a clothesline. I am... It's crazy, man. It's absolutely out of this world. And these two slugging back and forth in BFG. The best Video game brand fighting in the world. Boxing his ears and keeping it simple is the Fiend who gets clothesline for his trouble. And again, back to that same playbook. Kratos wants to get the win with this sleeper. I don't know why. That's his game plan for the Fiend. Who is now up and breathing and catching his breath. And Sister Abigail! Is that enough to crown a new champion? 2.9 is not quite there. Times two! He's doing it again, folks! One, two, three! We have a new VFG Heavyweight Champion. It is the Fiend Bray Wyatt. I didn't think anybody would ever beat Kratos. It took three mandible claws, and it took two Sister Abigails, 99%, sending these fans home happy. Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, is now 8-2, and two, whereas Kratos, with a rare loss here, he is 6-2. and two. That was exhausting. We have a new champion. We have new junior tag team champions. This was a very successful sellout event with a over 80% rating, and you can't ask for much more than that. Give me the arena. Brett! Oh! At what cost? Bray Wyatt won the BFG title, but he was injured in the process and needs one month to recover. At what cost, folks? But he is the new champion. And Liger and Kofi are your new junior tag team champions. 45,000. The Fire Marshal could not shut us down. We're ready to book the arena. The biggest venue in the game. Flip is the new Rig of Honor Junior Heavyweight Champion. And we have $13.2 million. I am exhausted. It has been a hell of a week here. Okada has joined NXT. Rainmaker. That's funny. Matt Riddle has joined Impact. We got featured in a magazine in Europe. And hopefully it wasn't Pete Dunne talking smack about us again. Hold on a minute, player. Seamus and Nemesis, who were in the same faction. They're in Freaks and Peaks. Now need to fight each other. But why? But why? What is happening? Are Freaks and Peaks imploding? Is that faction finally falling apart after months of being dominant in the VFG scene? I don't know. What I do know is I am done for the week. I don't know what I'm doing next week. As I said, I'm in, in, I'm in the middle of moving. I'll decide that when I finish moving. So, but I'll be here. Tune in. I'm a tax slug. See you next time right here. More videos. And I'm out!